Hi, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and in this video I wanted to show you the SynScan Pro app uh, for Android or Apple devices. Uh, if you get the Starseeker 4 telescope and mount without a hand controller, uh, it's got built-in Wi-Fi, and all you need to do is download the free uh, SynScan Pro app off of, the, off of your app store, and uh, let me show you exactly how it works and what some of the features are. Uh, as soon as you power it up, uh, go to the uh, uh, Wi-Fi settings on your phone, either again, either iPhone or Android, and find the Wi-Fi uh, connection uh, called uh, SynScan and connect to it. Then you're ready to connect to the telescope through the SynScan Pro app. I've booted up the program, I click connect, it searches for it, it finds it, and you're ready to start moving your telescope. That's the fastest I've ever connected to anything, and I've also if you've noticed, I haven't put in any coordinates into, normally if you're going to do a star alignment with the um, SynScan controller, you've got to enter your latitude, longitude, and the time. Well, it already gets it from the phone, so that's not necessary to, uh, uh, to uh, uh, input into the phone or into the mount now. Next, you're ready to align the telescope. And this, again, can be done without the hand controller. Remember, this is now the hand controller. So you click on the alignment uh, button. And you've got several different alignment routines. You've got a one star, a three star, brightest star. There is a north level alignment. Uh, it's daytime now, so I'm going to have to do a fake alignment. But it's really quick and easy, especially if you do the north level alignment, because I know which way north is. So I'm going to proceed uh, with that uh, method first. So I simply click on it. It asks me to pick some points in the sky. And then I click Begin Alignment. So level your telescope, point it northwards. It's pretty much done right now. I'm going to hit next. It's going to go to its uh, alignment point in the sky, so I'm just going to wait for it to get there. All right, so it's gone to where it thinks Venus is, and that should be pretty much correct for this time of day. Um, I'm not actually going to see Venus, obviously. It's also raining outside. Um, I'm going to then manually center Venus, because it won't be perfectly centered when it uh, guesses as to where it is. So. I can set the rate to something lower. I'd be looking through the scope, uh, and I'd center it with the up, down, left, right buttons. And then hit OK. It'll go to its next point, do the same thing. All right, up, down, left, right, center your, your next target. And hit OK, and you're done. It is now aligned and tracking. Really quick, really easy, now you're ready to go. So if you look on the main screen for the app, you've got uh, several different uh, catalogs. There's the star catalog, deep sky. When you go into them, it breaks it down into more granularity. You've got solar system, name stars. Let's click Venus. Go to. And we're back at Venus. And I know that was where Venus was. That was one of my alignment points. So, uh, and it's still pointing the same direction. So I'm pretty sure this is tracking very accurately right now. Um, if you look back on the main page, you've got other functions. There's deep sky objects, Messiers. You can punch in the, uh, the catalog number of the object. Um, utilities, there's a bunch of different features, uh, including like tonight's best. So it'll suggest objects based on your time of night that you might want to look at. It's not going to uh, pick really faint things. It'll pick the highlight objects. So that's a great way to kind of get started if you're not really sure what you want to look at for that night. One of my favorite features, just because it's really cool, is the uh, point and go function. Uh, if you go back to the main menu, just click on utilities, and then you'll see the point and go button. All you do is aim your, uh, the long axis of your phone in the direction you want to go, and click the button, point and go, and it'll send the telescope to that area of the sky. Uh, that's pretty much where I was uh, aiming the, uh, the phone. If I wanted to try it one more time, let's do it maybe a little bit higher up. Go. And I'll leave it there and see pretty much it aligns the telescope with the orientation of my, with my phone. So pretty slick feature. That's, uh, that's one to kind of impress your friends with. There's more advanced features that are not included in the hand controller but are on the app. I mean, that's the power of the phone with the app. There's, there's more processing power. There's more than you can do rather than just staring at the two-line LCD screen that the SynScan controller gives you. Uh, if you go into advanced features, you've got uh, many choices like polar alignment, the polar scope. It'll tell you where Polaris is around your, your uh, polar axis. That's obviously not going to be helpful with an Altaz mount, but if you've connected the Atlas or the Sirius mount and it's equatorial, those will come in very handy. There's an auto home, uh, PEC, uh, camera control. So lots of features that uh, are that go above and beyond what the SynScan controller itself can do. 
So all in all, it's a very handy uh, device to get more information and more use out of your telescope than what the SynScan controller can do on its own. Uh, it creates its own Wi-Fi hotspot. So that means if you're out in the middle of nowhere with no Wi-Fi signal, no internet, it still works. This, this does not require the internet to, to work. It creates its own hotspot. So you just have to be within the range of the Wi-Fi uh, in order to control your telescope. Uh, I didn't mention the air buttons. If you just want to manually move the scope around, you can change the speed, and I've got it right now at the fastest speed. Not only is there left, right, up, and down buttons, but there's also uh, 45 degree angle buttons in any direction. So if I was to do that button, it actually moves it in both directions at the same time. So you've got even more manual control over it than you do with the four buttons on the uh, SynScan controller. All right, so there you have it. A very powerful, uh, very simple uh, way of controlling your Starseeker 4 mount, the SynScan Pro app for your smartphone or tablet. Thank you very much. Clear skies.